Here's our new facility in Sierra Hall, we just moved into. This is our tech lab. This is the main place where we do our electronics, robotics, things that require more calibration or things that require more attention to detail. So in this room, we have a whole host of, for example, uh, water quality probes on the back there where we calibrate stuff and, and get things uh, working pretty well. We have uh, UAVs. These are our research grade UAVs such as, uh, in this case, a DJI Inspire. <clears throat> we have workstations that we can uh, render maps and create maps and do all kinds of neat stuff here. We have a whole cadre, a whole stable of robotics, both aerial, aerial units and underwater units. So our main workhorse for our underwater robotics are our open ROV units. For aerial stuff, in addition to things like the Inspire and, and stuff from 3D Robotics, we have, um, these are our, our micro quads, our trainers, that students first learn after they've done simulators. All of our computers have uh, simulators on them for people learning to, to pilot unmanned vehicles. They migrate from that onto our, our micro quads and then to our slightly larger and then onto our main research units. We also have fixed wings such as um, our research grade fixed wings that we use for three-dimensional mapping of coastal resources, uh, trainer fixed wings. Not only do we do stuff ourselves, we also build units for education and so in addition to research we have uh, for example, here's an underwater robot that we use with our um, high school and our middle school kids. We have everything we need to build units, uh, even though we sometimes buy units, a lot of times we make units. We do a lot of open source work in our lab here. And this includes doing a lot of uh, manu 3D manufacturing, 3D printing. So for example, we have two 3D printers going right here. Uh, we have a third one coming in from Italy uh, in a little bit. Uh, this guy uh, allows us to print two different types of materials at once, so, so metal and plastic or something. In this case, this is our main workhorse, uh, uh, the largest uh, 3D printer we have on campus, actually. And this guy is in the process of making uh, one of the pontoons of our uh, new autonomous buoy that we're designing that will help us uh, map illegal fishing in marine protected areas all kinds of manufacturing and, and exciting equipment there. This is a space, we, we teach in this space, we absolutely teach in this space. For example, my unmanned systems class is taught in here. But this is also a place where students do a lot of work, work on a lot of different projects, and can leave things out, leave electronics during the middle of soldering or what have you. Uh, we have laboratory prep spaces such as, such as this, but then we also have uh, for example, our Collins Bio Lab, our Conservation Biology Lab, and in here, this is a space that we do a lot more teaching in. So this is a place where we don't allow material to stay out, right, because we have a lot of students in here doing uh, classwork. But this also uh, facilitates a whole other type of our lab activities. This is more of our dissection. We have freezers, we have drying ovens, we have muffle furnaces. Um, all kinds of neat stuff here. So we have uh, uh, more electronic type stuff, more organismal stuff, and then down the hall we have our uh, GIS lab, our, our, our mapping and geospatial lab. So all this stuff here in Sierra Hall is absolutely wonderful. Our new labs here, our new lab digs, and this allows the Environmental Science and Resource Management Program here at California State University Channel Islands to excel and continue to educate students and continue con to contribute to the better management of our world.